and today I'm going to be talking about preparing for online school next year. So as of now, most schools are not going back. I think there's about 20% of schools that are going back that are public schools. A lot of private schools are going back because they don't have to follow like every state rule that a lot of the public schools do. So I'm going to go over some tips that you should have for going back to online school. I know a lot is different from usual, so especially if you're a freshman, you're going into your freshman year, it's going to be kind of confusing. So these are my tips on what you should do to prepare. So number one, this one doesn't apply as much now because it's mid-August and you probably start early September, but I'd say studying. You might want to review some stuff you did last year or do the Khan Academy courses, get ready. So let's say you're going into Algebra 1 this year. So you're going to want to take the class, get ready for Algebra 1. It's on Khan Academy. You could just do like a few lessons a day and then this would give you an immense amount of help for next year. You'll learn stuff before other people do, so it's going to be really nice, especially on Zoom because they might not teach everything like they used to. So it's going to be kind of hard to keep up without that in-person interaction. So I would suggest doing a get ready course. Number two is definitely going to be the shopping part of the school year. So what do you shop for? You're not even going back to school. What does back to school shopping without shopping look like? Well, this is what I would say. Though you might not need like a new backpack or a new lunchbox, you should still get like some new binders because I know most people's binders break during the school year. So get some new binders. You might not need as many, but I would still get like four maybe for six classes. Divide a few of them up that don't need as much space. But also like get notebooks, colored pencils, markers, pens, stuff you're still going to be using even though you're at home. So but it's not really, it's back to Zoom <laughs> shopping, but it's still not no shopping so i would still get those things before the school year starts also then once people start going back the back to school shopping is going to be crazy so if you do it now it won't be as crazy so isn't that what you want <laughs> so number three is going to be talking about your sleep habits so if you're any any part like me you have been going to bed at like 2 or 3 a.m every single night this summer since we haven't been in the school in like six months so what I'd say is, especially if your classes start early, like my cousin's classes start at like 8 o'clock, mine usually don't, but if yours do, you gotta start changing your sleep schedule right now, because you cannot be going to bed at 3 a.m. and wake up at 8, 5 hours of sleep is not a good amount to run off of. Actually, I talk about it in my last video, um, and it's why we should stay online, and I'm basically saying that all these, not getting enough sleep is really bad for you and especially your immune system and that's not something you want right now. So changing your sleep habits has to happen quick. So I would suggest maybe winding back your sleep like 30 minutes earlier until you're at maybe around 12 or something because 12 to 8 is a pretty good amount of sleep if you want that. You could also always get more. I am probably going to go to bed at 12 if I had to wake up at 8, so that's just my tip. That's what I'd say. So I'd start changing your sleep right now because it's hard. It is hard to change it, so it's going to take some time. The last and final S, which is kind of like the whole point, I guess it's the four S's. The last and final S is schedule. So your schedule is going to be so important for this Zoom classes. You got to keep all your classes on a schedule. Like on for me, I would have math like every Monday at 10 o'clock. So I would put that in my calendar and I would know on Sunday night that I have to go to bed. That's not super early, but a little earlier because I have school at 10. So I just make sure you have your classes in a calendar app. There's a ton on the app store and all of these help so keeping a schedule is really important you want to keep that consistency like a normal school day would have maybe go through your work in order because i know that's what i do when i get home from school usually i'll do my homework from like first to sixth hour so that way you're in a schedule you're like oh i already did first hour i already did second hour now i do third and i would just say that's the best way to get your work done do your work as early as you can you don't want to put it off and then you get more work and more work and now you're behind so i would say do your work quick put it all on a schedule and those are my tips for going back to zoom university school so i know this might not be ideal it's just just keep in mind that this is to keep us safe i'm gonna put some more twitter fights i've had up here Yeah, I know, I know. All these people want to go back. There's a protest group at my school of people who are protesting to go back. No, no. You need to watch my last video on why we need to stay on online school. Oh my gosh, it's to keep us safe. 
Oof. Sometimes I know it's not ideal, but it's what we're doing. So use these tips wisely. Maybe use some of them, use some of them that you don't want to. Might help. So I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you next week. Bye schoolers. Or should I say Zoom schoolers? Zoomers. Yeah.